second cycle education has become a major topic of discussion in Ghana, particularly with the introduction of the free senior high school policy. And many districts yearn to have enough senior high schools to ensure children from their localities benefit from the policy. It is therefore not surprising that authorities in the Asinfosu municipality in the central region will go all out to ensure enough senior high schools are built in the municipality when the odds were against them following the division of the then Asin North municipality into Asin North district and Asinfosu municipality. And when you look at the municipality as a whole, yeah. Asinfosu is not a small municipality. Yeah. But where the school is sited now mm -hmm. used to be an elementary school. Okay. And uh, the, the late Omaihin converted two other stakeholders, converted it into a second school. Okay. So in the first place, the land area is too small. Okay. Then the infrastructure is also not enough okay. to merit about 30-year-old second school. So when we came, we also looked at how best to relocate them so that we can get in more infrastructure. So my MP gave us 30 acres of land for Asin Fusu, Asin Man Nursing Training. But later on, we came to the realization that a nursing training will not need so much of a land okay. as compared to a secondary school. Okay. So why not relocate the secondary school to a new site so that we can use the old site for the nursing training? In fact, we have started a nursing training, mm -hmm. but in a rented premises. So what we intend doing is that when we are able to move the school to the new site, mm -hmm. then the nursing training, mm -hmm. the nursing training will also come and occupy the old site. For the Aubrey, that is, wow. Yeah, so that is the essence of um, relocating the school. But through the efforts of the district assembly, the member of parliament for the area, and some stakeholders, efforts were put in place to ensure adequate provision is made to establish more secondary schools to take care of those in the municipality. The establishment of Akutiman Senior High School at Asen Ekropon, which is strategically positioned to serve Asen North, Asen Fosu Municipality, and part of the Eastern Region. Before then, we had one district called Asen North Municipal. So when the district was um, divided mm -hmm. into two, yeah. that is Asin North District and Asin Fusu Municipal, mm -hmm. all the secondary schools that were in the, um, what do you call it, the municipality, mm -hmm. has gone to Asin North, with the exception of Ubriya Boy Secondary School. So we sat down, myself, my MP, mm -hmm. and other stakeholders, we sat down to look at how best we can uh, strategically place some secondary schools advantage points so that it will help the whole municipality. Okay. So you see that the one that we are talking about now mm -hmm. is closer to Eastern region. Yeah. And it's going to serve Asen North, Asen Central, mm -hmm. parts of Eastern region. Myself and my MP, we sat down with the stakeholders and the MP um, went to Ghana Gas to lobby so that they can give us the 18 unit classroom administration block and a canteen. Yeah. So we are going to start it as a day school. Then later on, we'll add other facilities to make it complete boarding. It is nearing completion. Yeah. And we have started the documentation. Mm -hmm. The community will write to us. Then we'll also write to DES. Then they also forward it to uh, Ministry of Education. Okay. So we, we have started the processes. We are thinking about starting it next year. Other new secondary schools under construction, including Abuaboman Senior High School at Asen Nyankumanse, where a six-unit classroom block funded by the GMPC has been built already, and Get Fund is also building additional 12-unit classroom block. The third is at the Akutiman, he added. Meanwhile, the Obiri Yabua Senior High School, the only remaining senior high school in the municipality after the division, is being relocated 
relocated to a larger land area with a number of new structures being put in place to accommodate the growing number of the students. Without doubt, the completion of these schools will put second cycle education in the municipality in a better shape and will inure to the better good of the municipality by way of human development.